I've been making too much iron related content recently, haven't I? I think I have. I'm sorry that it's a company I apparently seem to like. Also, I know this isn't my usual setup. Like, it's supposed to be over there. Uh, but I don't know. Kind of like how this looks. The lighting isn't great. Maybe I should put the light. That doesn't help. It was a stupid idea anyways. So I woke up this morning at my usual time, 5.15 in the morning. Don't ask. But I was intrigued to see a notification from the Ein YouTube channel called You Haven't Seen Anything Yet. There's a shoulder button repair guy. Why didn't I see this when I was looking through? What the? What? But they uploaded a video called You Haven't Seen Anything Yet. And uh, I mean, with a title like that, and a blurry thumbnail. How could you not be intrigued? It's so ominous. It's only 30 seconds long, but it was cool. <laughs> As it plays out, you see what looks like a normal Odin transform into this white device that's seemingly the same size as an Odin. Just white? It's kind of like a dramatic movie teaser. Like text pops up on the screen in a dramatic font to make the thing look more Dramatic, I guess. I don't know. I was trying to look for a different word, but I couldn't really think of one. At the end of the video, though, text shows up on the screen saying, quote, the world's most affordable Windows handheld ever created, period. Which, I mean, is not what I expected to hear from Ayn, especially considering they just released a device in January and they're still struggling to get the units out. But I am excited. It's called Loki. It has a sick logo. I really like how it looks. I feel like this will shake up the scene a little bit. I at least hope so, because this is a Windows handheld. And same size as an Odin, claims to be affordable. I don't know, GPD and Aya and whatever that Amber Nick stupid Windows device is gonna be. You're gonna have some competition on your hands. I'm kind of excited to see what it is. We don't know anything about it yet, but I am excited to see what it is, What it, like the specs of the device. I kind of just hit the ground running when they launched the Odin and it's like exciting to see because having a company that like pushes for innovation and like um, I forgot the word. Having competition in like any market is good. So having Ein here being like, oh yes, we're a new company. We're going to price this Android device at $300 and look how powerful it is. Look what we're capable of. And seeing them come in and now they're kind of being like, oh, we have this Windows device. You're going to like it. It's going to be affordable. It's like, I sure hope you're right. And if you are, good on you. You're a great company so far. I was going to make a comparison of this to the GPD XP and its price because it was more expensive than the Odin when it launched. Like it launched before the Odin, like a thing like a month or two before it did. And I couldn't find it. I don't think they're selling the XP anymore. I like, looked around on GPD's page and I went to like the official website and like found the XP. Like the XP's website. I pressed buy. It sends me to an AliExpress page that you can't buy from anymore. So I guess that's dead. Uh, <laughs> I mean good on them. The XP was like kind of a cool concept but dumb in practice. Like it's cool but like you're it's $320. You're expecting me to pay for that when I can buy an Odin? play Wii games on it. Can't play Wii games on your stupid Android thing that comes with a garbage skin. Sorry, I just got mad. GPT's never gonna want to work with me. It wasn't worth the money anyway. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of a good thing they stopped selling it. But I'm interested to see if GPD changes their like win line of systems or if this affects like Aya and like the Aya Neo devices or like any other like how the Ambernic new device is being shaped up because if it will before it releases, because if this is true, that it's gonna be a affordable, affordable, I don't know what they mean by that, um, affordable Windows handheld, and it's like an actual good one, they're gonna, have, they're gonna really have to try to get some people back on their side. Like they can't continue to sell their devices at such an expensive price if Ein's gonna come out and like sell their Windows handheld at an affordable price. Like, cause these uh, Windows handhelds have always been so expensive. Like $1,200, $1,400, they're expensive. Like the last Aya Neo that I saw a bunch of people like review that got copies, for, that got devices from Aya. Aya, please hit me up. I have an email. 
those device those that device that I saw a bunch of people the I and you next advanced I think it was or whatever it was that's fourteen hundred dollars who in their right mind is paying for that? So I think that I'm coming in and being like, oh, we have this device. We're going to sell it at an affordable price, whatever that means. They're going to kind of force a lot of these companies to rethink their pricing. Because obviously not every company is like a valve. You can't just sell something at a loss. Like they don't have that kind of money. But they're probably going to have to work harder to get their device's prices down if Ein's able to make like a device that rivals their things at like a third, uh, like not a third, a half or like three fourths the price. I kind of, we don't know what the price is. We're not going to know for like until they like launch their Indiegogo or whatever they're going to do. Um, and we know that like all these powerful PC type handhelds have always been like 1300 to 1500 like $1,400. So they say affordable. I hope that means it's like 500 to 600. That's my ideal. Oops. That's like my ideal number, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's around 700 to 800 dollars cuz like that's still technically affordable, isn't it? I feel like I'm probably trying to get this price down as much as I can. They're like they're like a small team. They're not like a big company, so they they can't like Well, they're obviously hiring more people after the success of the Odin, but it's like, you know, you're not, you're not Aya, you're not GPD, you're not Pow Kitty, but it's like, they don't really have the resources to like spend a bunch of money and lose a bunch of money. So they have to like try and bring down the price. I really hope they bring it down to like $500, $600. Cause I need to get more money so I can afford this. Please don't launch this before July. Oh my gosh. I really hope it's 500 to 600 cause I still haven't recovered some, from some questionable financial decisions I've made in the past year. Like this phone, I spent $50 the other day on a record set and like a bunch of stuff. I don't know why I did that. And also this device, the RGB 10S, I kind of regret getting it, but I'm out of my return period. So I'm stuck with it forever. Oh, it's, it's already collecting dust. That's so sad. Poor thing. I'm kidding. I don't like it. I don't really know if there's much more for me to say. I feel like I'm being way too optimistic towards this device. Like we don't even know what it is. We don't know the specs. Ein's a new company. Like I was overly optimistic for the Odin and I mean it fulfilled all of the needs that I thought it would, but still gotta contain my excitement a little bit. It's not gonna like kill me or something. It'll be cool. Cause like the windows build on the current Odin, isn't that great? If you watched my video on it, you know what I'm talking about, but I didn't like the build of windows that like was made for the Odin because it like wouldn't it wasn't able to play all of the emulators that I was already able to play on Android and it couldn't even play that many Steam games so it's like what's the point? Um, but I hope that whenever this device comes out, it's like able to play all of my favorite emulators and you can run more powerful Steam games like Snakey Bus or Portal. Because, I mean, I own those games. I own Portal 1 and Portal 2 and I've only gotten like 50% of the way through Portal 1, so. I played Snakey Bus, but Snakey Bus is kind of like a turn your brain off game. I could just buy a Steam Deck, but what am I smart? No. You expect me to buy a Steam Deck for less money? Excuse me? I did email Ein's marketing team in hopes of starting some sort of business relationship, like I've done with several companies in the past. And uh, they haven't gotten back to me just yet. It's only been like two days, so I'm gonna give it a little while, but Ein, if you're watching, hi. I'd like to get free devices. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I would like to do something. I mean, I don't know. I like your devices. <laughs> you, you seem like a, a better company than a lot of the other companies in this in, in this line, so I don't know. Also, if you're another company and you heard what I just said, disregard that and answer my email. <laughs> I'll put my business email on screen if any company wants to form some sort of relationship. They can reach out or find out through my youtube about page it's right there please i don't have enough money for all these devices i don't know what you guys want from me that's why i keep forgetting to make videos every week because i don't have anything to talk about sorry i didn't upload last week i lost track of time and got distracted and i would say i would make a promise i'm gonna upload next week but i'm not making any promises because i know when i do promise i oftentimes go back on that promise 
in terms of making videos. If you like promise, if I promise you something in real life, please take that. Uh, please, I'm trustworthy, I promise. What do you guys think? Are you as excited or even more excited or less excited? Are you more skeptical than I am? Are you excited for this thing? I am cautiously optimistic. It'll be my first Windows handheld if another company doesn't want to send me one. Amber Nick, answer my email. <sighs> Tell me in the comments down below. I'll be pre-ordering this thing as soon as it's up for pre-order or pre-sale or whatever it's going to be. Um, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. See you next time. I appreciate all of the support on the channel. I enjoy your guys' company. Bye.